I'm Davy Langlais, I'm a staff scientist in Hasnik Unit and I do marine ecology. This image is a picture of a foraminifera, that's a single cell organism that creates a calcareous shell. That's a single cell but it's quite big. This guy is 500 micrometer, so half a millimeter in size. So it's a single cell that's huge. So this image is a fluorescence imaging. You send different lights, different color of lights to the sample and the samples bring you back different colors of lights. So that's why this picture is divided in four because there is four different types of lights and these different types of light will show us different things. What we see on the blue and green image is the shell of the organism and on the red and yellow image what we see is the symbionts. So inside these organisms there are some tiny algae living inside the foraminifera and that's what we see on the red and yellow image. What I see is the, in, especially on the blue image, I see this very beautiful shell and what also strikes me is on the red and yellow image where you see all these tiny tiny dots which each represent a single algae inside the one foraminifera. Actually they are very important for Okinawa because when they die the the calcium uh, shell is going to the sand beaches and that's thanks to foraminifera that Okinawa has these beautiful white sand beaches and without foraminifera the Okinawa would not look the same. Of course when I put it side by side it really looked like this Andy Warhol type of image so that's why I put it, arrange it this way. This organism itself is very beautiful when you look at it under natural light but then yeah with this fluorescent light this four different colors which are quite matching well together. I thought, yeah, this, this is worth putting it side by side.